The Yanomami people have survived disasters brought by outsiders since their very first contact. Let's mention two important uh, occasions that relate to areas in which I photograph. In the 1960s, uh, Yanomami communities in both Brazil and Venezuela suffered a measles outbreak that killed 10% of their population. Now, from 1985 to 1992, about 40,000 gold miners illegally invaded Yanomami land, bringing with them diseases for which they had no immunity or defense. Mining also pollutes their rivers with mercury and destroys their villages, causing further injury to their health. Uh, records show that during this seven-year period, the Anumami lost about 20% of their people. This particular tract actually was diminished in 1992 when uh, Brazilian President Fernando Collor de Mello authorized the largest demarcation of the Anumami territory in history. Following that act, uh, the majority of illegal gold miners were expelled from their region. From 1995 until the end of 1997, I dedicated myself to documenting Yanomami communities located in the northern of the Brazilian rainforest, uh, as well as in Venezuela. I made my first trip in 1995 and returned later with the support of a Guggenheim Foundation Fellowship. Altogether, I made three other trips visiting Yanomami communes in both uh, Brazil and Venezuela over the next two years. I believe I can say I spent a total of uh, eight months among them, long enough to sort of become invisible, so they allowed me to observe and photograph their daily life. I was able to witness how peaceful they live their lives in remote areas as well as their unpleasant and stressful interaction in more traffic areas with the presence of illegal gold miners, uh, the loggers, hunters, uh, with the missionaries, uh, government officials and so many other outsiders. In Venezuela, I spent uh, most of my time in the Siapa mountain range, uh, an area where remote communities had not had any medical assistance since the measles epidemic of 1960. I can affirm you, it was for me an unparalleled moment of insight and appreciation for their situation and culture. An experience that actually led me to persist on documenting all the rainforest community until the end of the year 2000. The current uh, president of Brazil has openly expressed his disdain for indigenous policies, and also as well know that he promotes a lot of gold miners in the area. So far, about 10,000 have moved in, as well as loggers and cattle ranchers. Now. These industries are devastating the rainforest and its communes, and predictably the northern rivers of the Anomami in Brazil are once again being polluted by mercury, and the spreading of malaria is for sure on the rise. It was just a question of time before a global epidemic would reach the rainforest, and therefore the Anomami territory. As the situation escalates and the outcome is not clear, I recall the dignity and grace of these extraordinary people. These photographs are monuments to their courage and quiet fortitude. 